the other uh, interesting point that, that Adam Peaty has raised in, uh, in interviews um, of late is, is his concerns also over the number of public pools that have been closed in, in uh, the UK and, and participation levels in swimming have dropped significantly. Is that a concern for you as well? I think so. I think the, um, <clears throat> the results recently of the participation levels were quite shocking. There's always, when they do surveys, there's the question of how, who was, how, you know, accurate, how yeah. accurate it is, mm. were, the, were the questions different, worded differently to the word before. So there's always a, a bit of a grey area, but I, I think it's fair to say there was definitely a drop. Um, and I think there's a, there's a lot goes into that. We are in tight economic times for a lot of people, and unfortunately, um, swimming, swimming lessons are quite often seen as a luxury, not a necessity. Going for a swim can be quite expensive even at your local leisure centre so if you want to regularly go for a swim with you know take children for a swim you know it can be pricey so there are other things that maybe um, you know parents will do things where they don't have to pay for themselves for a start to do it as well you know if you take children swimming under a certain age you've got to get in as well um, and adults too then there might be other things that are less expensive and if you start shutting local pools and you've got to travel further to find a pool or be a member of a health club, gym, it's getting quite expensive just to, to keep swimming up. So I can see why um, that could be one of the reasons why participation has gone down. Um, and it is, it is a shame. I, I don't know the answer because pools are expensive to run. And whilst there do seem to be a lot more pools in gyms, a lot more health clubs that have swimming pools, that they're not accessible to most people because they're cost prohibitive or because you know they're not necessarily in the town centre that it's easy to get to so it's it's hard because I don't I, I couldn't tell you the answer to that because where do you where do you get the money I think you know swimming is a life skill um, it's not it's not a luxury it should be the top of people's list of things they should be doing it is one of the best ways to keep fit it's great for um, you know people who are overweight coming back from injuries or um, operations, um, illnesses. It's one of the best sports you can do or certainly that you can start doing to get you back into shape. So it's a massive shame that it's, it can be for some just completely inaccessible for them. Mm. Well, I'd, I certainly think if, if you make a comparison, say, with cycling, there's no question that you know, the money ultimately, I, I guess, comes from the government. Uh, and, and those sorts of funds and, and, and the, the funds that are available in those sources, and, uh, of course privately but government led, but the results at the top tend to kind of pile the pressure on to, for that money to become available and, and I, hopefully you'd imagine after a good world if, if it goes well in Rio there might be a, a sort of reinvigoration of the sport hopefully and there's young guys like James Guy doing well that kind of inspires everyone to, to take it up a bit like what happened in cycling yeah you'd, I mean you'd really like to think so mm. because um, there's got to be some kind of I hate using the old word legacy to, to <laughs> people um, you know getting those results and you'd really like to think that that will make people want to swim or if you look at Adam Peaty's physique I'm sure that there's a lot of guys out there who think I'll go swim if I can look like that <laughs> I mean that that's is it, is it easy to get <laughs> <laughs> yeah he doesn't train much at all <laughs> um, so th there's got to be that kind of I idea that you know it's it is a good way to get fit and healthy and it and it's one of the sports the only sports that you can do pretty much until you know you drop down dead because mm. there's very few sports that we'll be able to do when you're 80 90 years old yeah, but you can point. swim mm. so if you don't have that ability then then you're going to miss out in in later life so it is really important to keep swimming pools open but if if councils are looking at spending money and they're thinking right what's what's cheaper building a you know a skateboard park or running a swimming pool or putting in uh, i don't know an astroturf or building a swimming pool i mean there's just no comparison so there has to be some kind of um, understanding of like just the importance of, of swimming pools and and how important it is to maintain them keep them open make them attractive for people because there's still that you know your local leisure center people have this idea of um the foot baths and yeah. barucas and all the rest of it <laughs> plaster displacing yeah. <clears throat> most pools aren't actually like that yeah. they're actually really nice now compared mm. to when i started out 
Um, they are they are generally a, a, you know a lot better. Mm. Well, fingers crossed, and fingers crossed for real. Yeah. Brilliant.